Hey everyone, it's John from My Solar Home, and today we're diving into one of the most talked about showdowns in home energy storage the Tesla Powerwall 3 versus the Point Guard battery. Now, if you haven't heard of Point Guard yet, it's a smart battery system from a company called Sig Energy, a global brand based out of Shanghai, China. Their CEO, Tony Zhu, comes from Huawei, where he led their smart PV division. He's taken that deep experience in AI and smart energy tech, and he poured it into building the Point Guard battery system. The Tesla Powerwall 3 and the SIG Energy Point Guard are a new generation of exciting hybrid solar batteries on the market right now. Both of these are hybrid inverters, which means they handle the DC to AC conversion not just for your battery, but also for your solar panels as well. And they are both DC coupled systems, which is great for new installs. But here's the catch. If you already have solar, DC coupled batteries won't work without replacing your existing inverter. You need to install the battery and solar together. That's where AC coupled batteries come in. They are retrofitable. Tesla rolled out an AC coupled version of the Powerwall 3, so now you at least got options with the Powerwall. Now the Tesla Powerwall 3 comes in just one size, 13.5 kWh energy storage capacity. Simple, fixed. The point guard on the other hand is fully modular. You can start small with 5.2 kilowatt hours and expand all the way to an astounding 36.4 kilowatt hours on the same stack. Perfect for homeowners who want flexibility as their energy needs grow. For a fair apples to apples comparison, we will look at the Powerwall 3 13.5 kWh capacity and compare it to the 15.6 kWh version of the point guard. Let's talk size. Meet Anna again. Anna is 5 feet 6 inches tall and she's here to help us visualize the battery sizes. The Tesla Powerwall 3 has got a height of 43 and a half inches a width of 24 inches and slimness of just 7.6 inches. The point guard 15.6 kWh battery capacity option has dimensions, height of 35.8 inches, width of 27.6 and depth of 10.2 inches. So the point guard is definitely bulkier, it's broader and thicker, but the Tesla Powerwall 3 is much taller. Overall, not much in terms of size differences. What about aesthetics? These two are probably the best looking batteries on the market today. The Powerwall 3 is built with a cast aluminum frame. It's sleek and rugged. The point guard looks great out of the box. But I have a little bit of an issue because it has a plastic frame. It looks great, but it may not age as gracefully as the Powerwall 3. Let me know in the comments, are you on Team Tesla or Team Point Guard for looks and build? A pro tip, if you're considering multiple units in the future, floor mounting will give you a neater install and better expansion options. Now what comes with the install? Tesla Powerwall 3 needs additional components. It needs either a gateway or a meter caller. The meter caller is small and discreet, no problem, but the gateway is a large unit. It's 26 inches by 16 inches by 6 inches. The point guard system on the other hand includes the smart hub controller. This is part of the entire stack. Think of it as their version of the gateway. Smart circuit control that allows you to shed heavy loads automatically is native. Integration with EV chargers and whole home backup generator readiness out of the box for point guard. Let's look at battery storage and kilowatt hours and power output in kilowatt. Remember, kilowatt hours is how long your power will last and kW is how many devices can you run at once. So the Tesla Powerwall 3 comes with an energy capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours. Power of 11.5 kW is continuous. So it can start and run large loads like a five ton AC seamlessly. The point guard battery has got up to 15.6 kWh usable energy in this configuration 
10 kW of continuous power. Slightly lower on the power output than the Tesla, but with higher capacity, but it can run your 520 AC easily. The point guard gives you more energy storage because you can stack up more battery packs. Let's look at battery performance and real world reliability. When the grid fails, how do these batteries behave? Let's dive into the point guard. In an outage when solar and battery are both working, it delivers a strong 11.4 kW, regardless of battery size. But at night when there is no solar, performance depends on the battery size of the point guard. Now we are reviewing the 15.6 kW version here, and that puts out a max of 8.7 kW at night, just the battery alone. If you upgrade to 20.8 kWh or more, you can unlock the full 11.4 kW power output of the battery. The Tesla Powerwall 3 comes with a fixed 13.5 kWh capacity and it delivers 15.4 kW power during the day with solar support and up to 11.5 kW at night just with the battery. The Tesla Powerwall 3 can keep your home running for days with solar. If it fully trains, the battery might require a manual black start. Check with your installer because the new Powerwall 3 has this feature, but it needs to be enabled. Of course, it doesn't have smart load control, so you'll have to turn off most of your high drain devices manually. The point guard, on the other hand, has built in auto black start. The power will turn back on when solar resumes. It's got smart load management via its app. You can prioritize loads, drop heavy ones automatically. The key takeaway is that the point guard shines when it comes to automation and real life blackout scenarios. Let's look at scalability and future proofing this. Upgrades. If your family grows, you add an EV. With the Tesla Powerwall 3, you can add up to three expansion packs to a single Powerwall. So one Powerwall 3 with three expansion packs will give you 54 kilowatt hours of energy capacity. Power stays the same at 11.5 kW. No increase of power, more energy. You can even add more Powerwalls if necessary to increase both power and energy. You can add up to four Powerwalls with three expansion, expansion packs each to reach 216 kilowatt hours of energy capacity and 46 kW of power more than enough to blow anything away. The point guard battery is modular, like Lego blocks, with a 5.2 kWh and a 7.8 kWh energy capacity block. A single point guard stack can be expanded up to 36.4 kWh with five Lego blocks, one 5.2 and four 7.8 packs. That's more than the capacity of two Tesla Powerwall 3s in one point guard stack itself. And if you need more than that, you can add more battery stacks, up to 15 units. Each additional battery adds both power and energy in case of a point guard. It easily integrates into high demand homes with a lot of ECs, EVs, pool pumps, etc. Takeaway is that Tesla makes it easy to scale energy alone. Point guard gives you a more balanced energy and power booster. In terms of generators, Planning for hurricanes, snowstorms, or week-long outages, the Tesla Powerwall 3 without a built-in generator connection requires complex workarounds. The point guard battery, on the other hand, seamlessly connects to both portable and whole home generators. And it auto-switches when solar and the battery are both depleted to start the generator. So in terms of generator readiness, the point guard is really generator ready, and the Tesla, unfortunately, is not. Let's look at warranty and support. What kind of long-term energy confidence can you expect from these two? The Tesla Powerwall 3 has a 10-year warranty, 70% capacity guarantee, which is very good and standard in the battery world. The Tesla inverter handles both solar and the battery, and the inverter also has a 10-year warranty. Now there are mixed reviews on Tesla customer support. Be prepared for delays. They'll get to you, it'll take time. The Point Guard battery, on the other hand, has a 15-year warranty on the battery. Point Guard has built up a US support team that's scaling up fast now, and it's a global company. Currently, from anecdotal evidence, it seems like Point Guard support seems to be slightly better and faster than Tesla's. 
One thing to keep in mind, both Tesla and Point Guard's gateways only come with five-year warranties, which is shorter than their overall 10-year coverage on the batteries themselves. On pricing, let's talk dollars. The Tesla Powerwall 3 install comes between 12 to 14,000 for a 13 and a half kWh battery. The Point Guard will be more expensive, 14 to 16,000 at least. So the Tesla is more affordable upfront but the point guard really delivers more value in terms of generator support, longer warranty, smart controls. So which battery is right for you? Now, if you have space that's tight, you're looking for a sleek install, this Powerwall 3 would be your best choice. If you're looking for smart control, generator support is important to you, point guard is your choice. If you're looking to expand with EVs or growing family, Point Guard might be the better choice. If you're looking for the lowest upfront cost, clearly Tesla Powerwall 3 is the best option. You want long support, bigger warranties, Point Guard. So there you have it. The Tesla Powerwall 3 versus the Point Guard. Really two heavyweights, two solid options. It comes down to your priorities. If you need help deciding, I can help with free quotes and consultations. Drop a comment email me or visit the link in the description below. And don't forget to watch my other video comparing the top solar bat batteries. Franklin, Enphase, Point Guard, Tesla. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for more energy saving advice.